Hello. Hello, my name is Julian Crato, and in this video I will show you how to set up our Ethernet I.O. module with integrated I.O. Link Master and connected sensors. Once you have wired the master and the sensors, use the first rotary selector on the field bus module to select your preferred communication protocol. For this demonstration, we are using the Ethernet IP protocol. The three rotary selectors represent the last octet of the IP address. Via the first rotary selector, you determine the hundreds digit, via the second the tens, and via the third selector, you determine the units digit. The first three octets of the IP address are set to 192.168.1 by default. For the last octet, we will set 123 as an example. To do this, we will turn the first selector to the first mark, the second to the second, and the third rotary selector to the third mark. Then, a power reset is necessary in order to save the IP settings. After doing this, the module's IP address is now 192.168.1.123. Now you can configure the Ethernet settings of your network adapter accordingly to ensure communication between the laptop and the module. To check whether the connection has been successfully established, you can access the module's web server via any Internet browser by entering the module's IP address. Under the System tab, you are also able to adjust the IP address according to your specific requirements. For parameterization of the I.O. Link sensors, use the Universal Device Software I.O. Link Device Tool by TMG. As a first step, insert the device description files on the main screen. You will need an IOLM for the I.O. Link Master and an IODD file for the connected I.O. Link devices. The device description files are available on the Papel and Fuchs website. Next, search the network for all available field bus modules and add the desired module to your project with a double click. In this window, you are now able to make IO Link specific settings for the master module itself, such as checking the IO Link device identification or activating the parameter server function. Then, assign a function to every single port of the field bus module based on its actual assignment. An I.O. Link sensor is connected to port 1, so I am assigning I.O. Link for this one. In my example, the other ports are not connected. After that, save the configuration settings to the device via the Go Online button. By clicking the Check Devices button, all channels that have been parametrized as I.O. Link ports will be scanned for connected I.O. Link devices. Add the I.O. Link devices that have been found to your project. You can double click to open the I.O. Link device window where you have full access to general information about the device as well as the process data and parameters. To synchronize the tool with the I.O. Link device parameters, click the small arrow. By doing this, you can upload all parameters stored in the device to the software. A status column indicates the data validity. Under the Parameter tab, you are able to change the parameters and save them to the I.O. Link sensor. As an example, I am changing the switch point of the connected I.O. Link sensor and saving the configuration to the device. Finally, you are able to save the entire project and reuse it later on, for instance, in order to make changes or to copy the configuration to another field bus module. More information on our IO Link field bus module is available on the Papel and Fuchs website. Thank you for watching and until next time.